Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be talking about basically everything I've learned in therapy. Okay, not everything, but some of the things that I've learned in therapy that I think can resonate for you. I know this title is completely clickbait and I do think that you should get into therapy because everybody's situation is different. Everybody needs to work through different things and learn different things. So get yourself into therapy. If you're feeling lost, I'm telling you, it makes such a big difference. I'm just gonna tell you a few of the lessons that I've learned through therapy. So the first one is that everything is a mirror. I've noticed that a big thing that happens in therapy is Every time you bring something up, your therapist is usually able to figure out what within what you've said reflects you. So your therapist isn't going to go and fix your whole entire life. They're not going to listen to you talk about this and this and this, your job and your partner and your home and your kids and all of this and fix all of that. They're just gonna help you realize what it is you need to realize about yourself in relation to those things. What I mean by everything is a mirror is if you are able to become self-aware enough to find what every single situation reveals about yourself, you'll be able to feel less affected by things and also become just like a happier, more open-minded person rather than feeling like your problems have to do with everyone else. I've talked about this before in a video, but basically I believe that your internal world helps reflect your external world. Let's say you were manifesting a bunch of money and you're wishing for all this money and you get all this money, but nothing happens from point A to point B internally. Your mindset is the same. When you get this amount of money, you're still gonna feel miserable and unfulfilled because nothing has changed internally. So focus on your internal world and if you're watching this video, you're probably someone who does care about improving yourself. So just shout out to you because there's a lot of people in this world who want to blame their problems on everybody else. And I guess it's easier, but it's also something that you're gonna stay stuck in. There's no resolving that. There's no resolving everybody else. The only thing you can work on is yourself. So proud of you for being here, proud of you for working on yourself. Next thing I'm gonna talk about is being vulnerable is not a weakness. I've realized that you cannot be closed off and cold and distant and not open with the people in your life and then confused by why you don't have deep connections with people or why you don't feel like you're living your authentic truth. You have to be open about yourself and be willing to be hurt because that's the bravest thing that you can do is living with your heart open and living in a vulnerable state. When you live vulnerable, you're open to anything that can harm you, but you're also brave and you're trusting yourself because you're willing to accept that no matter what happens, no matter what hurts you, you'll get through it. And that's where the real strength comes from. Strength isn't just, oh, I'm gonna put this whole barrier up and this whole wall up and nothing's gonna get through. That's not really strength. That's, if anything, a weakness and that ends up kind of halting you in your life. So if you can become more vulnerable and become more trusting of yourself, um, another really great way I would say to start trusting yourself is to make promises with yourself. So for example, for me, I made a promise to myself that I would go to the gym twice a week. And yes, it was because I wanted to like work out on my body and look good and feel good and all that, but it was also so that I could continue doing this thing and prove to myself that I respect myself and that I make promises with me and I keep them. I commit to myself. So do that with yourself, even if it's nothing super crazy, if you wanna make a promise that every single week you're gonna go for three walks a week or something like that. Whatever it is, just make a promise to yourself and keep it because the promises you keep to yourself are really, really, really important. If you keep making these plans of, oh, I'm going to work out or I'm gonna read or I'm gonna drink more water or all these things, then you don't do it. You're just proving to yourself that you can't trust yourself. So you need to rebuild that trust. That way you'll be able to feel like no matter what happens in your life, you can handle it and you'll be able to be more vulnerable and be more open and all of that. Next thing that I wanted to say is your feelings and experiences are valid no matter how big or small. So I think a lot of the times we feel invalidated for, is that a word invalidated? I think it is for our feelings and the experiences we've had. We have a reason for why everyone did things to us or for we feel stupid for being upset by things or whatever it is, but realizing that anything that hurts you or hurts your feelings is valid. If someone literally flicks your shoulder and you feel the most offended in the world, I'm not saying it's valid for you to go scream at them or beat them up, but it is valid for you to feel those feelings of feeling hurt or whatever it is because you feel them. That in itself makes them valid. That like anything you experience is valid. 
anything, absolutely anything. You're only harming yourself by making yourself feel stupid for feeling the way you feel. And the last one I wanted to mention is, it is not the critic who counts, the credit belongs to the man in the arena. So there's a quote that I really like that my therapist showed me and it was basically we were on the topic of caring about what other people think and perceptions of other people and trying to really just live for yourself. Basically the whole entire message of the quote is that the person who's criticizing isn't the person who actually gets the credit. The person who gets the credit is the person who's doing the work, the person who's actually in the arena. The critic is just someone who's so busy in other people's lives that they can't even just focus on their own. Whether you feel like you're the critic or you feel like you are the person in the arena, that is just a good message to have. If you feel like you're constantly criticizing people, I would definitely say start to focus on yourself and think about why you're criticizing the things that you're criticizing. Usually when you criticize something about someone, it's because it actually has something to do with you. Everything is a mirror, everything's just a projection. So if you're looking at someone and thinking, oh, she's so pretty, like fuck her, why is she so pretty? That's just reflecting that you feel like you're ugly. So then you need to look into that. Why do I feel like I'm ugly? What makes me ugly? Have I heard that I'm ugly? Like, where does that belief come from? And you need to really dig into that. But on the other side, if you're someone who just really cares what people think, my tip for you would be don't take criticism from someone that you wouldn't take advice from. So if there is someone in your life who is constantly putting you down or making you feel like shit or whatever it is, think to yourself, one, do I want what they have? Do I want to be who they are? Do they actually have good advice? Do they seem like they're coming from a place of love? If the answers to those questions are no, most likely you don't really need to take what they're saying so seriously. And you can also take notice again that everything is a mirror. So whatever they're saying more so has to do with them than it does you. You're not really the problem. It's most likely them, unless it's obviously like criticism that's like constructive. If there's just someone who seems to be putting you down it usually almost, I think, always has to do with them more than you. So yeah, and if you find yourself criticizing other people, as I said before, definitely look to yourself and figure out why you feel the need to put other people down either either verbally or in your head or however you're doing it. And that's the end of this video. I've been making a lot of videos like this, just sitting down and talking to you guys about my thoughts. So if you're interested in those type of videos, definitely go check out the other ones on my page and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.